Taylor has five Olympic medals. And Dominique Dawes won all five events at last year's Nationals. But both these stars lost the all-around title to the 13-year-old darling Dominique Mochiano at this year's National Championship. At her first Nationals, she won three medals. Is this kid for real? Coach Bella Caroli thinks so. And we'll find out exactly how real she might be as we go to the Frank Irwin Center in Austin, Texas for the McDonald's World Team Trials of Gymnastics. Let's take a look at our scoreboard as the athletes enter the optional rounds. After the compulsories, Dominique Mochiano is our current leader on the quest for that world team berth. Uh, just ahead of Shannon Miller and Dominique Dawes, both of them one-time national all-around champions. So we join the action on the floor. It's the first of four rotations, and it's the vault of Shannon Miller, an event that she did win at the U.S. Nationals, though she did not win the all-around. She did win this. She's going to have two vaults. The best score was the one she'll carry with her. The gold medal she won at the National Championships was the only one of the meet for Shannon Miller after a disappointing second-place finish in the all-around to Dominique Mociano. She will be performing two different vaults from two different vault families, and there's a reason for that. The United States is trying to encourage the gymnast to perform two different balls, so she will earn an extra tenth of bonus, which will be placed on the final score of the best ball. It's the same concentrated luck we've grown accustomed to. Five Olympic medals at the Barcelona Games, two silvers, three bronzes. The first American woman to defend successfully her world championship all-around title. The most highly decorated woman gymnast in American history. She has accomplished almost everything in the sport of gymnastics, but when I mentioned that to Steve Nuno, he said, well, not everything. We haven't won an Olympic gold, and, and that's something she's really setting her sights on. Shannon Miller, out of Edmond, Oklahoma, trains at the Dynamo Gymnastics Program. Steve Nuno, of course, her coach. You might be hearing him throughout the broadcast as he's wearing the wireless mic. And the first ball, the round-off entry, half layout front, a big step on the landing. That ball is called a Yurchenko style ball. Beautiful ball, except for that one step. You gotta watch that hollow. I'm gonna pull this mat. I wanna see a good strong block on that soup, okay? We're gonna make this ball the soup ball. We're gonna make that count. That's just for the score. So I wanna make this ball count. You're gonna have to have a stronger run, okay? A strong one? Now pop it, Shannon. Strong one. We'll take another look at this vault. This is called a Yachinko half layout front. She does a round off entry onto the board. And then she does a back handspring onto the vault. She gets a nice push off of the horse, a half twist to an immediate layout. Nice body position, a tiny little pike. Very difficult to land because your feet hit the ground before you get a chance to see it, which is why she took the big step. And this is an overhead view of this. Back handspring on, nice push, good body position, tight leg. Opened up a little too early and had to take a big step on the landing. Now, before we deliver to you her score on the first ball, we'll watch her second ball. Now, this ball is a half-on entry, but the after flight is the exact same action. She does a half-on, half-twist off into an immediate layout front. The ball she just performed was only valued at a 9.9 .9, so that's the maximum score she could achieve this fault however is worth a perfect 10. What in the world? throughout the broadcast you'll be hearing a lot of crowd noise Watch it up now nine point strong run pop it up there seven one two there. the mark for her first ball she has an opportunity to score higher on the second ball because of the maximum value and remember because there are two different balls from two different ball families she gets a higher score, she too will get an extra tenth on that score. Here it comes, half half lay up front. Same trouble on the on the dismount and a little bit of a difficulty. She was having problems in warm-up standing that up. She get, makes a quick tasty retreat, if you will. She you know right there for immediate feedback. Okay. She seems to be so right always right by her side when she down, comes off the apparatus. Have to pick it up next to her okay? All right, let's go. All right, all right. Now she has to mentally prepare for her next rotation. In the meantime, we'll watch our defending national champion, Dominique Mochiano, at one of the more glamorous events, the uneven parallel bars. Dominique 
turns 14 this month. She is an amazing athlete, and what a competitor for just 13 years old. She is incredibly impressive. Her bar routine just bursts with explosive energy. Kind of like her personality, too. She's just all sparkles. You'll be watching for her monster release moves, just high, caught way out away from the bar. Incredible, lots of swing as well. And the transition from low bar to high bar, Shaposhnikova, right to the handstand there on that overshoot. Good. All the way. Can hear Bella Carilli in the background. Here comes her first release move, a ginger. Look how far away she caught that. That's exactly what the judges want to see. She has another big release move coming up. Called a Takacha, then there it is, a little flex feet. Little form difficulty, not a big deal. And watch this dismount. A double layout, two flips backwards in a completely straight position. Yeah. And she nailed that landing gun. <laughs> I see you are the head today, huh? <laughs> oh, wow. Well, that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> she certainly has a knack for making gymnastics look effortless. She said she's in her hand today. This is another look at her Takashev. It's also called the reverse hex. Timing is everything. She gets lots Close of height, a little flex feet, but not a big deal, as I said. This routine is total swing. And this is what she's famous for, a double layout. Six straight body position. And here comes the landing. Boom, she nailed it. Should mention the score for Shannon Miller's second vault was not as high as its first, but because it was different, she gets the one ten point bonus for nine point eight one two for Shannon Miller in the vault event. We await Dominic Mochianu's score as we await the next competitor on that apparatus. And I think Bella Caroli's got a handful in her. A potential she certainly does. Heart stealer she is. She is legitimate. She went from being the junior national champion in ninety four to the senior national champion in ninety five. Usually there's a bit more of a transitional period when you make that jump to the senior division. I wonder what she's thinking about. And Bella Caroli, who, who developed Nadia Komanich, Mary Lou Retton, Kim Zemesko. Could he be doing it again? His announcement after the 92 Olympics was obviously not, not for real. But he's back in gymnastics with a new bell of the ball. Bocciano needs a 9.65 to remain in the lead. Carrie Strug is the next athlete on that apparatus, an 18-year-old. She was the youngest member of the U.S. women's gymnastics team at the Olympics in Barcelona. Now training in Colorado Springs, a straight-A student. Carrie has been at many gyms throughout the country. She's trained with, at Carolis. She's trained with Steve Nuno. And now I think this is more of a perfect fit for her. She seems to be enjoying herself. She's with a lot of new up-and-comers at the Colorado Aerials. And she is a true veteran. Tons of uh, international experience. She's been on four world championship teams. She was the youngest member of the 92 Olympic team. She's in a very good position to make it to this world championship. At the U.S. Nationals just a few weeks back, she finished fifth in the all-around. Certainly placing her in one of the favored positions to make the world championship team. She earned a bronze medal in this event, the uneven bars. Her coach there getting her ready, Tom when Forster. Ready for uh, uh, Tom and Lori Forster, the married husband and wife coaching team. Judges still trying to calculate the total value for Dominic Mochiano's bar routine. And the number's coming in now. At the Olympic level, this is like a four-ring circus. Today we only have two rings. Mochiano's routine earned a 9.9 .9 start value. Which means that that's the maximum value she can score. The gymnasts have to do a certain amount of special requirements. They actually start the routine if they have all the requirements, at a 9.4. So it's up to them to increase the value by doing certain elements and combinations to maximize the value to the optimal 10.0. And she obviously didn't get credit for something there, so she only started at a 9.9. 9.687, the score for Mochianu on bars. 